Here's an example of calculation of the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix. And this, this will pretty much give you the idea of any square matrix any, of any size, although you wouldn't usually be asked to calculate the determinant of anything much bigger unless it was very special. Um, I'm actually going to do this two ways to illustrate something. I'm going to start the calculation one way and then show you a um, very important shortcut. Um, so here's the 4 by 4 matrix. It has to be square or else the determinant is not defined. And the vertical bars denote that we're actually trying to take the determinant of this. We're not just looking at the matrix. We're actually trying to distill it into one single number, the determinant of this matrix. And um, the idea is very similar to the 3 by 3. Um, and it's really the same for all size matrices. You pick a single row or column and you expand around that row or column. And so we're going to take three. We're going to let's take the first row just for just to be simple. We're going to take three, and then what we do is we're going to create the minor and then the cofactor for that. So what we do is we delete that row and that column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just you wouldn't do this on paper exactly. I'm going to copy that in. And I'm going to delete that row and delete that column. That gives us uh, this matrix, and I'm putting vertical bars around it because it's not the matrix that we're using, where it's the determinant of this that we're using. Okay, so it's this 3 by 3 determinant that we're going to be calculating, and then uh, that's the minor. To make it really correct, we need the number in the, in the first row combined with its minor combined with the appropriate secret minus, secret plus or minus sign to make it the actual cofactor. Now that's a plus for the top left, so it always starts out with plus. Then this, the next one, the 7, has a secret minus sign attached to it. So it's going to be minus 7 times the determinant of, okay, I'm going to delete the top row and now delete the second column. So that's a kind of a weird 3 by 3 matrix made of this, the, these three, these three, and these three. Okay. Plus, now the we're back to a plus for the secret minus signs, but it's actually a minus 5. And again, I'm going to bring in that matrix, delete the row, and delete the third column now. I'm going to make this on two lines. Notice it's a big calculation. We're going to want to try and find any shortcuts that we can. And now minus, secret minus signs change to minus again. It's just a checkerboard pattern, remember. Times, delete the first row and delete the last column. Whew. OK, so if we had to do that now, we have to do four separate 3 by 3 determinants. That's kind of annoying. Um, and what I want to sh show you is we can make it at least a little simpler by exploiting some features of this. If you see a row or column with lots of zeros, then that's a good u column to use, row or column to use. We don't have to use this row here. We could use this row or this column. Those are going to be better. I'm going to go ahead and use the third row. Okay. So I'm just going to say, yike, that's a little bit complicated. It's still going to be a significant cal calculation, but let's go ahead and instead use this third row. Now let's see, what are the secret minus signs on the third row? It's still plus, minus, plus, minus. The same pattern, because we skipped two rows. Okay, so it's going to be zero times the determinant. Well, okay, so who cares? Zero times, who cares? Question mark. Minus, now two times, and I'm going to bring in this guy. Now I delete this row and this column. Okay, and then plus zero times whatever. Okay, who cares? Zero times whatever, and then minus. So he's plus minus plus minus, and then a minus one. So it's going to end up being plus. And then finally, for the last time, I'm going to copy that in and take that. Out. And so it's got the um, everything but this last, but the third row and the last column. Okay, so now it's only two instead of four three by three determinants. That's half as much work, okay? So that's good. So I'm just going to delete those guys out. Those aren't going to contribute. I'm going to just make that into a plus sign. Okay, so it's not too bad. Equals, okay, so now minus two times. Now this, I'm going to have to do the same procedure. Now there's still a zero here, so I could go ahead and expand around the middle row. Why not do that just for fun? Now this is going to be, what's the secret minus sign pattern here? Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So they're both going to be minus. So minus 4, copy this, and whoops, uh, and delete the row and column. OK. And then um, plus 6, because there's a secret minus sign that's going to cancel this out. The minus signs are the things that are going to kill you here, so be careful with that. Be really careful with the minus signs. 
delete those guys. Okay, so that's these four entries, 3 minus 5 minus 9, 3. Okay. Uh, ooh, and I did the wrong thing here. Let's let's see what I did. I was talking and writing at the same time. So this is supposed to be this 2 by 2, 3 by 3 matrix. I was supposed to delete the first entry, and I think I deleted the middle one. Okay, that's going to be better. So I was supposed to delete this column in this row, and I get these four entries. For this one, I get these two four. 3 minus 5 minus 9, 3. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, and I'll wait to calculate that in a second. And, but then I'll do this one. Okay, this one also has a 0, as it turns out. Let's do the middle row again. That's minus plus minus again. So it's minus 4 times... Let's see. Now let's make sure I delete the right one. I delete the column and the row that that 4 was in. And then a plus 2, because it's remember, it's plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So plus 2 times, and I'm almost done. Delete that middle row, middle column. Okay. Whew! I know it's a lot of work. That's why I'm only assigning a couple of these in your whole your whole career as a trick pre student. Okay, minus 4 times. Now, this is not too bad. Minus 30 plus 6 is minus 24. Plus 6 times 9 minus 45 is minus 36. And then plus a minus 4 times 21 plus 10 is 31. And of course, I'm kind of rushing on this. Um, is this really the same matrix? I guess it is. Let's see. Let's make sure. I've got a 3 minus 5 minus 9, 3. Um, yeah, that's that that makes sense. There's sometimes you get the same matrix twice. I think that should be good here. Uh, and so that is just the same number. That's that minus 36. Okay. What's that? What the heck? Why does it not like that? Huh. It doesn't like it. It's not going to do the arithmetic for me. Oh, well. I'll do it myself. Okay. So that's 96 minus um, 216. It's minus 120. And then plus um, minus 72 minus 72 minus 124. I was really counting on the computer to do the arithmetic for me here. So that's 240 minus 196, which is 44, which happens to be the correct answer. Okay. So that's the process for a 4x4. Four four. And um, the key thing is to exploit the zeros. Okay. Expand around a row or column that has as many zeros as possible. And then even in the 2x2, two two, you know, the 3x3 three three case, which you get down to, keep going. So it's what's called a cur recursive procedure. 4x4 four four matrix is calculated by using 3x3 three three matrices. 3x3 three three matrix calculated by using 2x2 two two matrices. And um, believe me, it gets really hairy for a random, like, 5x5 five five matrix. It's more work than you'd want to do. But we're not going to do random ones at all. Okay. Um, all right, let's get...